So here it is, my uh, first Arduino board and a starter kit for Arduino. I am super excited. It, it, you used to have to take a college class in order to learn how to operate robotics, how to program things, how to put circuits together, but now you can do it in your own home for really cheap and I, my wife was nice enough to let me go out and buy some toys. So now I'm going to play with them. This is a really great way to get started with Arduino, just uh, going out and buying a cheap starter kit. I used ADRX from Seed Studios. I found it on Amazon. Uh, it was cheap. I, th I actually bought it a while ago along with the board. And I think it cost me about 30, 35 bucks for the starter kit, another 30 for the Arduino uh, microcontroller itself. But that's really pretty cheap considering what you're getting. The development environment is free for far less than $100. You can get started learning electronics, uh, computer programming, microcontroller programming robotics in general. This is just really exciting. Uh, I'm going to open this up and see what we've got. And I'm just going to set this microcontroller over to the side for a minute. So we have an experimenter's guide. This is all open source with a Creative Commons license. Uh, Seed Studios manufactured this or at least put together the, the box. The uh, the license is under umlaut.com, so anything that I share or reproduce, I'm going to have to have a Creative Commons license for, which uh, will get that done by the time it's uploaded to the website. So we have a plate, looks like, to mount the Arduino and the solderless wire board too so we can make our projects organized and well laid out and check that out they put in little uh, pictures of all the circuits that we're gonna build so you don't even have to be able to read schematics you can just look at these pictures and feed the wires from your Arduino to whatever you're trying to control or sense from very cool. You can learn schematics later. You can go to tronhead.com for that. We have some headers. I guess we'll find out what we're going to use those for. I think they're just to hold down the circuit diagrams over your solderless wire board. Looks like we have some pegs to mount the uh, Arduino onto the mounting platform with. We have some electronic components. Looks like we have some green and red LEDs in there, some transistors, assorted resistors, wires, or jumpers, all different colors. It's like a servo or a motor. Oh, I guess that's a servo. That's a DC motor. Some more wires. What do we have here? Um, a relay, maybe? A couple of push buttons. I think we have two potentiometers in there. And I'm not sure what the IC is. We have Arduino. We have a board to mount it on. We have a solderless wire board to put on there. Let's go ahead and put that together. Man, I am excited. Ready to do some programming. Some robot building. We'll start small though. We'll start by executing every example of a circuit and program that they have in this RDX ADRX kit. And what will happen is you'll be really surprised with a little bit of programming. Once you learn a little bit, you can mix and match the little building blocks that you've learned in order to put some, together some really cool projects that to a person who doesn't know 
would look really awesome. And that's because it is really awesome. Sometimes, you know, we we know a lot about what we're doing and we underestimate the impact that what we do has on other people that don't know as much about it. Man, this is harder to get off of there than I thought. There it goes. Okay, there it is. All cleaned up and ready to go. When you put the peg through there, the peg is going to go all the way through and out the top and it spreads that sleeve open to hold the, the Arduino board on. And that one's a little tighter. There we go. See how it split that? Now it's holding the board in securely. Now on the bottom of this, And you have some sticky stuff here. Just pull off the yellow cover. There we go. There's our development area. We have our microcontroller with all of the components built onto it to allow it to work. We have a place to plug in our USB cable, connect to power. You can either connect a 9 volt battery to that. I actually bought a wall charger that has a connector that will fit in there with an adjustable input. So I can set it for 9 volts and it, it's got a little voltage regulator in there. It will convert it down to what the microcontroller needs to operate. Uh, or you can, if you're not controlling a very high current application like blinking a diode, which we're going to do first, then... Uh, you can just use the power from the USB port. When you plug up to your computer, it will power on the Arduino and it can drive low voltage applications, or low current applications, I should say. 